Hey guys, today on Crafty Friday, I'm going to show you how to use fabric markers to create one-of-a-kind room decor pieces. I doodled on a lampshade, a picture frame, and a pillow. You could also decorate other things such as your curtains, a jewelry box. Just get creative and draw on stuff. Grab your markers and let's get into this So Craftastic tutorial. I chose a blank lampshade to go with this pretty turquoise base. And I'm using tulip fabric markers to draw a one-of-a-kind design. I decided to use a ruler to help me draw straight lines because I want to put triangles all over my lampshade. Once all of the lines are drawn, I'm using a black fabric marker to put different patterns in every triangle slash geometric shape. Some of them are pentagons and weird rectangles, but anyway. After quite a few hours of drawing, my lampshade is finally complete and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Now let's take a break from all this black and white and move on to a colorful pillow design. I started by drawing on the corner of the pillow and I'm going to keep building upon that with simple lines and shapes, dots, zigzags, triangles, flower petal shapes. And as you can see, I continued to draw different patterns until this whole side of the pillow was completely covered. Finally, I'm drawing on a picture frame, and yes, I'm using fabric markers on a wooden frame. They still work on wood, so what I'm doing here is a simple design that's going to take a lot less time than the pillowcase and the lampshade did. So this is a project for those of you who don't have a ton of time to draw. I sectioned off the frame with a bunch of different lines and then inside those sections I'm just going to crisscross the lines by drawing a bunch of parallel lines one way and then just intersecting them. I chose to put this message inside because you're beautiful. Yes you! And I know that sounds super corny but sometimes we need someone to remind us. All right, so what are you guys gonna doodle on? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and clicking subscribe, pretty please. 
Last week in my Crafty Friday DIY, I showed you guys how to make fishtail friendship bracelets. Yours turned out super cute. Here are the photos that were sent in by my viewers, you guys, of bracelets and various other crafts that were inspired by my videos. Thank you all so much for sending those photos in. I love seeing what you all create. And I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Check out all of my links in the description box below, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, on today, on today, today on, hey, with fabric markers. A with, to create one of a kind, kind, oh man. Hey guys, hey guys, uh, <clears throat> just get a little bag, get super creative. Ooh, I don't know what that was. I, 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 by giving it a thought, giving it a negative in it, I would have got up to. Enjoyed this video. <laughs> Can't talk. Oh yeah. We like to. Sometimes I forget the camera's on and the windows are open. People can see in these blinds, but here I am just going like that. Hey, hey. no, no one's really out there. But if they were, I'd wave. <laughs>